Hi, we're back here on Mensch Life on ThatChannel.com. Thanks for sticking with us. I'm delighted to uh, introduce to you uh, Jeanette Burke. She's back for our second show, a second segment called The Magnetic Marketing Moment with Jeanette Burke, your marketing magnet. Jeanette, how are you? I'm uh, great, welcome David. to the show. Thanks very much for, uh, for being with us again. Great. Um, Jeanette, is nice to be here. Jeanette is the founder of Primetime PR. She has 14 years' experience writing press materials, scoring top print radio, TV, and internet for her clients. She's a marketing PR coach, speaker, trainer, and columnist, and the creator, creator of the magnetic marketing PR process. And today, we're going to talk about websites. Yes, we are, because uh, as a marketing PR coach and consultant, which I primarily do now, mm -hmm. my job is to analyze integrated marketing PR programs and make sure they work for my clients. Mm -hmm. So websites is a huge part of that. And website is also the forefront to social media, which is hot, hot, hot today, Facebook, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, you know, pages on, on right. them. And they have to be intertwined. So um, as part of my process, the magnetic marketing PR process, websites is one of the things I talk about. And so today we're going to focus on that. Okay. And basically, um, want to bring out a couple of points before we start analyzing. So um, when we do analyze mm -hmm. the two sites um, that we have for today, right. uh, we understand what we're doing. Sure. Okay. So the, there's a couple of attributes mm -hmm. in a good website that one should have in their website before they move forward with it or even before they launch it. Okay. What are they? And well, the first is accessibility. Your mm -hmm. clients have to be able to find you. Mm -hmm. And when they get on your website, they have to be able to download it properly. Okay. Um, so the pages have to come out clearly. Yes. And they can't be blocked by a lot of images right. or graphics that could slow them down. Because yes. if that happens, they're going to click off. They only sure. want five to ten seconds to get the information. Right. Um, so these are really important points to consider mm -hmm. when designing a website. Right. Um, and then organization is key. How you organize the information. How it's presented. Um, is it easily... Uh, uh, easy to obtain the information that you need as a visitor mm -hmm. because it's all about the visitor, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and that you're meeting their needs right. and their wants, not yours. Right. And that you're communicating in the first person mm -hmm. because a, bro a website can have three or four different purposes. One is like a brochure, the right. second is a support, and the third is an e commerce. Whatever component or purpose you're going for, um, you're Ideal client, customer, prospect, visitor must mm -hmm. be able to easily access this information okay. and deci decide quickly if they want to pursue to contact you. Okay. Um, what, so what does that mean, though, first person? I mean, it means um, instead of writing my clients, right. it should be we help you. Okay, right. It should, everything should be in first person. Right. Okay, gotcha. It's like, like you're talking to them. Oh, okay. right. Almost like you would if you were writing a brochure gotcha. or a news release. Everything should be about them and their wants and their needs and the benefits that you have to provide. Okay. Um, site organization is also key yes. in the way that the site is structured. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the, the site map and how, how easy is it to find the information that you're looking for as a visitor. Um, making sure that the links aren't broken so mm -hmm. when people click on them or go to another page, it actually happens and they don't, it doesn't go down the site very because that's important. very an annoying to the sure. visitor. And it's almost guaranteed that the visitor will never come back to your site if this happens. Being able to identify your company right away and what it does, mm -hmm. having a good image put forth, right. being able to find you on contact, not just on the contact page, but every page is right. essential. Uh, making sure that your site is copyrighted Mm -hmm. So that it, the content can't be copied because it belongs to you. Right. These are very important things. And, of course, search engine optimization, being able to find yourself by linking it in with keywords that will bring you up more quickly. Yes, and, that's um, very important because otherwise nobody can find you. That's right? right. There will be no traffic driven to your site. Right. Um, so s keywords that help to bring you up in search engines like Yahoo and um MSN and, and all the big ones that will help to get you up there. And then the promotion of the site. A lot of people just put up a site and leave it, mm -hmm. thinking that people are just going to find them. Not it's not going to happen. happen. Right. They have to promote the site extensively in order to get people to draw uh, where traffic. Where do you promote? Like electronically or uh, on your business cards? I mean, where do you have... Uh, everywhere. 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 Okay. everywhere in all places. And, you know, um, all signage. 
anything you send uh, (laughs) anything you send out every email you send out every newsletter you produce every uh, press release you produce right um and there are other techniques to okay. rank yourself higher too. Okay, we'll we'll talk we'll talk okay. more about that. But let's jump into, into one of the assessments we okay. have on the line with us, Jeff Walters, uh, from Jeff Walters Diamonds. Jeff, how are you? Welcome to the show. I'm very well. Thank you for having me, David. Thank you for being with us. And we're go- we have up on the screen now uh, a picture of your recently um, developed Facebook fan page, which. I happen to like very much. Uh, you can see it's called uh, Rock On, uh, which I, I love the name. Jeanette's had a chance to look at it. Jeanette, do you have any suggestions for Jeff? I do. First, I just want to say hello, Jeff, and it's a great opportunity for me to be able to analyze this for you. Um, from a marketing eye, I went through it thoroughly, and I do think it has some really promising features and that you're conveying some great stuff like the Ask the Expert and the scholarship and um, some of the videos. But I had some suggestions for improvement for you, which I'd like to share with you with your permission. Please do. Okay. So I understand that social media is a, is a huge part of your um, marketing right now, that you're really um, moving yes, it's forward. it's become very, very important to us. We've just uh, recently delved into it uh, with two feet. So... Okay. Anything you can add would be very helpful. Okay. So the first thing I would like to add is um, when I looked at that, that's a fan page, and I didn't notice anything that linked it to a profile page. And what I wanted to see was more information about you, your company, and what you bring to the table. Before I saw information about your ads and um, and uh, something about the com- Chamber of Commerce, Barry, that you had been featured in. The reason I say this is... Um, Today, social media is a wonderful outlet to promote yourself. However, we must be cognizant of the fact that when we post information, it must be useful to our potential clients. It should have some form of benefit and um, useful information to them. And what I found remiss on your uh, site page was that there was a lot of stuff there about your commercials and your activities, like your scholarship fund, which is fabulous. But I don't see that that has a lot of benefit to the end user. I see that more as a promotional tool for you. And what I'm going to suggest is that you integrate the two by adding components such as you could do articles with a blog and link that with your your site, which we'll discuss in a minute. And those articles could have some components that I saw on your site, such as, you know, uh, reasons for buying jewelry or how to, you know, how to make a proposal. Useful information that could be converted into blog-style articles, which would also help to get you notoriety in the, in the media beyond the standard commercial, which is an advertising media, not a PR media. Um, the other thing I thought, and I saw also that you had some of these themes in your commercial, so you could easily convert them to blog. The other thing, or article posts, the other thing I thought was to bring the testimonials front and center rather than leaving them quite down the page. You have to scroll quite down to see them. And testimonials are everything because they show your track record. So um, that was one thing. Another thing, and and in particular, you had a very good testimonial, which was a video style of, of a couple. And I think you could do with more of them or more stories to emphasize your point. Yes. Um, in this, fact, that is a direction we're headed. Uh, this has only been up a month. Okay, well, you're uh, headed uh, in the right direction. Yeah. And video is the next hot wave, so really to get on with that, that would be really a, a great asset to, this, to your postings. The scholarship itself, um, I think it's a wonderful thing that you're doing that. And I was going to reserve this comment for your website, but I'll throw well, it in now. Let's bring up the website because we only have another minute or so. Oh, left, so okay. Because I have a few up. other things I wanted. Okay. To well, add. well, go ahead. Okay, we, we, um, got, we got a couple minutes. Okay. So you know what? I like the Ask the Jeweler. That's very interactive. But I think you need to make it more interactive. And the scholarship. What I would suggest to you to do with that scholarship is to give it a little more bang, 